Here's how to install Stable Diffusion on your Mac. And with this new toolkit, it's really easy. You don't have to do a ton of development uh, tooling or do a bunch of installs that are really complicated in the terminal. Uh, we just basically have to drag two files into the terminal and run them and it will install everything for us. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to go ahead and install this and you'll be able to run a website locally on your machine to run Stable Diffusion um, with a bunch of different settings. So let's get you all set up. So the version of Stable Diffusion that we're going to use is called Invoke AI, and we want to go to github.com slash invoke dash AI, and that is going to bring up the repo that we're going to use. And then we can go to the readme file and read the installation guide. And first we're going to download the latest package, and we can take the install.shell file, drag that into our terminal, and hit enter and it will say press any key to start to install and we'll choose our installation location i'm going to use the default location and hit yes to start the installation and it will begin installing stable diffusion so this is one out of two steps we're going to let this whole installation complete and this can take five to ten minutes okay the first part of the installation is complete and now we have to select where we want our uh, images output to be. So I'm going to select that folder. I'm going to choose to have not safe for work images be filtered by default. And then on this step, we have to go into our hugging face account and accept two terms of service for two of the stable diffusion models. Uh, we also have to choose which models we want to download the recommended or all of them. I chose to download all of them. And now we'll go ahead and do the second part of the installation, which is downloading all of the machine learning models. Okay, now the models are downloaded and we can go into our new folder that we have installed and we want to grab the invoke.shell file and we're going to drag that into the terminal, hit enter, and then we want to hit number two to run Stable Diffusion in the browser and that's going to open up the app that we've now got installed. We can click the link to the URL and there we go. We have Stable Diffusion set up and I'm going to make another video on how to use Stable Diffusion and all the things you can create with it. Uh, if you have any questions and you're stuck on installing this, just write a comment below and I'll reply. And I hope you found this tutorial useful and have fun using Stable Diffusion.